Hey friends, it's Sonia coming from Jug Monkey Paint Studio here in Ligonier, PA, just outside of Pittsburgh. How's everybody doing on this Sunday night? Thank you for tuning in. Say hello as you guys pop on, send us hearts, give us a thumbs up, tell us that you're ready to hang out for night. It's really supposed to be day, day 27, but it's night 27 of the Painted Piece of Furniture a Day Challenge. So I want you to meet my newest friend here. I think I will call her Olive. What do you think? Is that a good name for her, Olive? This stand, uh, we actually did a clean out of a home and um, this was an old tool organizer that was on the gentleman's, um, basically what was it, his like tool tool area of his home in his basement. And he hung this on, on the wall. I think these are the parts, the cutouts. It's homemade, of course, I can appreciate that. Probably like 70s, 80s he would have put this up on his wall. And he would have hung his tools on here. There's all, you know, there was nails here that we pulled out. This was, was actually on the wall itself. And if you come up close and Matt can kind of give you a good view of it, you'll see there's all kinds of nail holes and character and chippiness, uh, just homemade goodness, right? So this is all, this is real wood. It's heavy duty. And I'm thinking that I'm just going to go ahead and paint it. And so somebody will come into my shop and I'm sure will fall in love with it. And because of its uh, character, I'm going to turn it into a repurposed rustic shelf. So what do you guys think? Yeah? You excited? I'm going to go ahead and get started. So for those of you who are joining me, I'm Sonia. This is Matt behind the camera. And we make up Jug Monkey Paint Company. And uh, the big thing that we do is this awesome jar of goodness. We ship it all over the U.S. And you don't have to prime or sand or strip. So I don't even know what kind of poly was used on this. I don't know what kind of paint was used on this. It's There's shiny. all kinds of splatters. What's that? It's shiny. It is, but that's okay. That's okay. Don't even have to worry about it. A lot of times I get questions and you guys say, can I paint over an already painted piece? Yes, you can. And in fact, that's what we're going to do tonight. So, babe, give us, tell us who's on here with us. Where shall I start? Let me go back to the beginning. The first brush stroke is always like, oh, so satisfying, right? Just, so, anyways, I'm going to go down. I'm going to do the joint. I'm going to go black. And, all right. Go ahead. So, I'm saying hi to Patricia, Judith, Gina, she, Shelly, Lori, <laughs> Kelly, Autumn, Carrie, Debbie, Karen, Marlis, Patricia, Debbie, Jane, Lee. You gotta sing it. Gay Say it like Steens, you're singing it. Yay, Manuda, Linda DeRoss, Grant Hoover. Uh, Debbie, Belinda, Nancy, Judith, e well, I already got you, Carrie, Laurie, Stacy, Carol Ann, Brenda, who was in the shop today, today. Hey, Brenda. Yes, she was in the shop today. Linda, 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 Gail, Liz Not Pierce, Bessie, Colette, Teresa, uh, Liz, Gail, again, uh, S. Jane Daly, Rhonda, Brenda, again, for a second time, Barbara, and Name's Tony. So nice, you gotta say it twice. And Kathleen from right here in Ligonier. Nice. And Carol. Brenda. You got everybody? And Michelle Harris. <laughs> and Deb Shu. I don't think you're short. Sure. I don't think you're short. They just keep popping up. I know. I'm and just Jennifer messing with you. Texas. So, anyways. <laughs> How is Texas looking? You got yeah. a little wet down there, you yeah. guys doing Oh my okay? gosh, has anybody seen that video that's going around uh, Facebook right now where the guy is actually catching a catfish in his living room? It's going viral. You know, like, uh, you know, God love the, the, the wife who's like laughing and just, you know, making the best that you can out of a situation like that. But yeah, there's catfish and there was like water in their living room. Who's seen that? Anybody seen that yet? Making its way. I'm gonna have to post it. Well, on there's a hawk. Video. There's another one going around with the yeah. hawk. Went in the guy's cab and he was like hanging out for the storm and he was just like sitting in the seat looking at the cab driver, like, okay, buddy, I'm not going anywhere, but you come over here. Yeah. I'm gonna claw your eyes uh, out. Maybe he just wanted a ride. He just wanted a lift. You're talking about like hawk as in flying hawk, right? Yeah, okay. a hot, giant yeah, yeah. He just hot. wanted to lift, man. Uh, Mickey, we'll make sure that uh, we'll have Smoky Coal in stock on Friday for you if you're coming by. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, you guys can always do that. Yeah. Um, some of our customers <clears throat> locally here have gotten to know this, and I don't know if you know this, but uh, thanks for watching us and finding this out, that if you are coming, you can always call us ahead. Make sure you call us and uh, tell us who you are and uh, tell us what color you need when, you come, when you're coming in. And we'll go ahead and hold your color for 24 hours for you to be able to get in and pick it up because it does fly off the shelves. We saw so many people today again. <laughs> Mr. Matt from the offer room. Well, now that uh, What's Her Face uh, passed away, and if they're going to do a reboot, I might as well put my resume in for that, huh? Anyways, <laughs> uh, Lori said they must have ordered out for seafood. Uh, oh my gosh. 
serious though, huh. right? Shelly says the coverage of your paint is phenomenal over pre-painted pieces. Yay! Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. I appreciate the feedback. Yeah. That's terrific. Yeah. You guys have been still posting your pictures. I feel like a hair on my arm. You guys have been posting your pictures uh, since last night, and I'm having so much fun. Even Matt was looking through them. Do you remember them, Matt? Yeah. Some yeah, I saw the thing with the uh, retirement home where people were sitting waist, weak, waist deep in water. What the heck was going on with that? Yeah, yeah, I figured they would. I thought for like hospitals and nursing homes and secondary care places, it's it's a federal requirement to evacuate those places. Listen, maybe that was just the, uh, the uh, I don't know, that was a swimming day. Oh my God, Valerie Brown originally is checking in from the Goulds in Newfoundland. The Goulds! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, outside of uh, just outside of St. John's. How are you? I used to love that. What was it? Man, uh, like the name of the place when we lived back in New <laughs> Yeah, what was that? George Street TV. They did the parody of Christiane Almanpour going, I don't know where we're going, but we're going to the Goulds. And it sounds <laughs> really, really scary. So, anyways. We're using black velvet tonight. We offer one black, and it is the awesome black of a true black color. Why do you need more, right? So. Yes. If you guys are buying Jug Monkey paint, I'm going to tell you, get a black and add to your uh, stash because it's a classic color. You can build so many different effects on top of a black or a brown. And I'm just loving how this is going on. I've decided to brush it on tonight because this is like parts of this because it's homemade has some really rough lumber in it. So for me, I'm going to brush it on. I want it to feel rustic. And you guys know if you use a chip brush, you're going to get that rustic look. And uh, I want... Because I'm kind of like pouncing down into like nail holes and things like that, right? Yes. So that's why I've chosen our paint, to do the Our brush. paint is vir virtually no VOCs. It's very low. Um, there, are, I know there's paints out there that say they're v VOC free, but to be honest with you, there is nothing that in the paint lot world that even milk paint has a certain amount of VOC in it. So we have very very we minimal very VOCs. Very, yeah. yeah. Um, people on here that have used our paint. Can tell you that there's hardly any smell or any, yeah. you know, you know, you're not. You can sit here and paint till the top cows come home, and you're not going to get a headache. So. Oh my gosh, no. Yeah. So. Anyways. No. Lori May got a curbside chair today. She you wants did? to. Yeah, she's going to dab, 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 dab. <laughs> so, anyways. Love it. Also tonight. Oh, Linda has a shelf like ours. You do, Linda. What yeah. are you going to do with yours? Well, I'm sure she's going to paint. She has enough paint. <laughs> she does have enough paint. <laughs> so. Uh, too funny. So I was, Lori was painting with Junk Monkey paint today. Yeah. I was painting a metal shelf stand. Ooh. And my question is, after painting the first coat, I waited and then applied the same. It was kind of pulling up pieces of paint. What did I do wrong? Also, it's about 100 degrees out. Well, yeah. <laughs> the, it's kind of baking if your item is hot. Did you roll it on? Ask her, did she roll yeah, it Yeah, did on? you roll it on or did you brush it on? Because I would roll it on for a metal piece. Yeah. Roll it on, and because when you're rolling, you're kind of pushing it down, so that's always a good thing. Sure. Put a leg coat on, let it dry, and then when I say let it dry, like if you could do it and just come back the following day and do the second step on it, that will really help it because any extra time you give it, it's just continuing to build a hold. Yeah. Uh, the finish on our polyacrylic is we use satin and matte. It yep. depends on one of those. So, anyways, Jen's checking in from New Jersey. New Jersey. And, uh, Jennifer, I'm covered in junk monkey paint right now. I didn't smell a thing while painting. Join the club, right? <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> yeah, Patty's checking in from Then West people Virginia. wonder why I'm always covered in paint. Yeah. You know, do you need to ask? Thanks, Janet's, guys. Janice joining us from Northern Cambria County, PA. Nice. Yeah. So, Chris can use junk monkey paint for the first time. I'm in love, but what matte poly should I use? Yeah. Um, matter satin, uh, minwax, water-based yep. polyacrylic. Honestly, you can use pretty much any um, <laughs> water-based polyacrylic, but my favorite brand Linda is Linda said minwax. she's running out of paint. You are, girl. Yeah. What are you doing? You paint the town red? Well, actually, yeah. Linda has how many colors now, Linda? Like 20. Yeah, so she, it's not just red. It's like red and pink and yeah. blue and every other color on the She's rainbow, got right? more on the way, doesn't she? Um, well, yeah, it's on the way to her. Uh, no, now. she brushed it. Yeah. She'll probably get it. Lori brushed it. For the next day or two. Uh, try, try rolling it on. And uh, when yeah, you go help. for yeah. your second coat, go, you know, don't don't power it. Just kind of... Thin, yeah, yeah, go with thin coats. Thin, remember thin how, coats. Yep, remember how the first coat when you put it on can act like a primer in a sense. You know what I mean? Because you're putting the first coat on nice and thin all over. Let it set up. 
and then go at it the following day again with another hey, roll. Hey, Sonia. Yeah. Anna said, you always have to dive head first into the jar to smell it, and Linda might have more paint at her house than you do have in the store. <laughs> <laughs> she might, was actually. That, is that Sonia Kettler? No, that was uh, Anna Prinky. But Sonia Kettler just said, I'm back. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, I thought you said, hey, Sonia. I'm yeah. sorry. I must have, yeah, like, yeah. hallucinated. So, what the hell? so, who's got kitties going back to school tomorrow? Hello. Have they already gone back at this point in your house? Mm -hmm. I'm seeing, uh, seeing mm -hmm. posts on Facebook. Everybody's packing the snacks and getting all the school supplies and all that jazz. Oh, Sierra's on. Sierra, how are you? She, she says, hello, love. Hope you're doing both well. Yes. Girl, we, we are jumping through back. flaming hoops. <laughs> that's, how, that's how busy we are. So, anyways, uh, Melody's checking in from Illinois. Uh, Margo says, I'm new to painting, and what would be a good project to start? Ooh. Also, what paint brushes uh, to begin would yeah. be good with? Uh, we use super cheap chip brushes. Uh, cheaper to better. Yep, there you go. Those are we use for distressing. Don't believe anybody when they tell you you have to have a $40 brush with their name on it so you can paint like they do. Um, we find that, you know, the chip brushes give you the really cool effect of uh, distressing whenever you're painting and they're cheap too you know we yeah. do this on a budget your supplies should never cost more than your actual project unless not you get for the DIY yeah pieces. not for the DIYers right so because that's the fun of fun of it right being able to go out and get stuff for cheap be able to score it from a junk pile that is the best <laughs> Sherry says I'm so sad I missed the last three days I started back to work so I Aww. keep falling asleep <laughs> Are we that Red interesting? Bull. Red Are we Bull. that interesting? Red Bull. <laughs> oh, too uh, funny. Carrie says we keep cutting out. So she was painting earlier but stopped to make pepper steak. Ooh. Why don't you bring us some and freeze green beans? Oh, Carrie, my. you're off the road. Listen, if you're cooking, you know we're here all the time. You need to come feed us. <laughs> feed us. No, 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 no. So, Anybody out there growing gardens? Mm. Growing something? Mm. Remember, mm. I, I kill things. Uh, yeah, I, I don't do well. Kristen says, okay, thanks. I can't wait to show you all my beautiful island. Ooh. Well, girl, send us the pictures. If you guys yeah. got pictures, send it. We want to post or them on Or go back on, page. on uh, last night's post and uh, yeah, find that's that that's post that. where I invited everybody to post their pictures because I know it's fun to get inspiration and look and see what everybody's up to. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're a visual, right? Sometimes you're like, yeah. what can I do with this? And then somebody posts a picture and you go... Now I know. I can totally do that, right? You or you love a color, and sometimes you don't know what you want to do until you see it. That's why I love Pinterest. Hey, Linda, can you give them like the list of uh, like our follies and things like that we suggest? So, uh, Kathy said she was happy the min wax poly does not smell. Yeah, but no, she's gonna it have has to very low. Yeah, that and, yeah, that's because it's water based, right? Yeah. So, you know, yeah. back in the day, everything was all. You know how like. Back in the day, everything was all about varnish and yeah. uh, heavy shellacs. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, like it's terrible. Yeah. Or you think about all the things we're painting over now that it has like these heavy, heavy yellowing, amber, oiled, um, terrible, terrible things for you, like in terms of even like harsh chemicals. And nowadays they make water based products and uh, they're awesome. So you don't have to have the oil. Patricia oil said her kids started back three weeks ago. What? Yeah, Barbara. Where are you too, Patricia? Barbara said her kids are uh, starting college tomorrow. Michelle, college? Yeah, Michelle's kids are going back to college. Oh man, uh, that's. Oh, uh, Riley, that's just let you know, Riley took the day a meritorious day off again today. Um, <laughs> I think he's working the system now. I, I think he's working the system now. So <laughs> just let you know. So. Oh, that's too funny. Anyways. Um, so, anyways. Um, some of you guys know that I, I host a, uh, me and my friends, uh, high school friends that uh, we all went our separate ways, but we all kind of worked in entertainment for a while, uh, got together and we do a show out of New York, and uh, something I was thinking about today when I was seeing some of the people going, my kids are going back to college, that means uh, a lot of us are around the same age, and uh, we were covering the subject the other day, do, does anybody remember when your kids the metal slide that would sit and bake in the sun oh, yeah. and would get 200 degrees totally. and you would go to slide down oh. and you would just stick well and your skin would like 
bake off your body. <laughs> it yeah, was like it was terrible when you skin, had shorts on, yeah, right? Yeah. Or yeah, the backs yeah, of yeah, your legs would yeah. stick to it. Yeah. Think you know if you had leggings on or something, you could go quickly. Yeah. But yeah, if you didn't, you just kind of like you know squeaked your way along. Yeah, I was thinking good. about that. Pat mentioned that the other day. Colette, uh, to get the paint, it's seven to ten uh, days turnaround on your order because we hand make your order. Hand make, hand yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, Lori says, just like the uh, fire puller. Yeah, burn your skin off. Just like yeah. the what? Yeah, yeah. So. What'd she say? Uh, Galen just got back from taking her No, what did Lori say? Oh, Lori said, just like the fire pole. Yeah. The fire pole? <laughs> yeah, we had What's slider. A fire pole? They had one for the slide. You could go down a fire pole, too, you know, like slide. Oh, down. really? They'd I don't get, think like, I would have had the nerve Smoking for that. hot, yeah. Galen just would got you back. slide down a fire pole, like, seriously? Yeah, you do it all the time. Gee, I How used do you to, not stick on I and, like, to, get yourself hand, like, you know, burn your hands on that? I used to fast rope out of a helicopter. Yeah, but you were trained. Like, for me, if you were to say, here, Sonia, let's take you to a fire station and climb down this fire pole, I don't think I could slide down a fire pole. I just don't think I could. Hmm. Anyways, uh, so... I know there's gravity at work, but you know what? Your hands would stick on. Yeah, Gillian just got back from the doctor's, and uh, she said... Her son has a broken thumb. <laughs> oh, no. What did he do, Gailey? Yeah. No hitchhiking for him. Oh, yeah. Anna Frankie says, I still remember the old school playground that McDonald's used to have. Yeah, do you remember Mary McCheese? It was like kid prison. <laughs> right? Right? So, um, uh, the, yeah, Mary McCheese. You'd, like, climb, climb up inside Mary McCheese, and he was, like, metal, and he was, like, a cage, and you got up there, and you curled around inside his head. Yeah. And, like, the other kids would, like, put you in there and wouldn't let you out. And you'd stay in there in the sun and bake while your mother was gossiping. You know, whatever she was gossiping about. And usually threw up your milkshake, you know. What? So, I'm just saying, yeah. Seriously? Most people remember, yeah. Maybe like this a, is good that I haven't that known That was you back before, about. you know, all these lawsuits well, and stuff. Well, I grew up in stuff. Canada and I didn't have a McDonald's yeah, so, near yeah. me, okay? Uh, the salmon right. color is called Sweet Sunset. So, anyways. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah and more. then they had the, like, uh, springy horses but they were fry guys, and the fry guys, you know, you get on those things, and all of them were defective, yeah. because you'd lean forward, and they would toss you and laugh. They would just toss <laughs> you, and you'd go flying, right? Oh, that's funny. So, and, but, uh, yeah, that, and what was, what was the other thing? And another thing we were talking about, too, that we were laughing about is, remember the old vinyl car seats? And you could tell what kind of car somebody was driving when they would get, when they were walking and, you know, at the amusement park or the mall because the uh, the vinyl was so hot that it would like cook an imprint into your legs. You remember that yeah, one? Remember that one was a good one. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember that one? Yeah. So, That's good times. Yeah. Yeah. Lori May says sweet memories. Yeah, but when it was happening, it wasn't that sweet, right? So... We go, oh, that was cool, and then you think about, no, it, it hurt. It really, it really hurt. <laughs> so, anyway. But, uh, Goodness, things changed. Oh, yeah, so. Oh, Michelle says, my mom will put towels on the car. Well, you had a good mom. Oh, towels on the seat. I, I come from, about that. I come from Fayette County, Pennsylvania. Trust me, we were, uh, we were about, uh, you know, 30 years behind the times, right? So. Funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that one. Oh, what was it? You had the hatchback, and you would sit with your legs dangling out the hatchback. And we were driving that. around locally, and you would go over to, it was neat when you went over to train tracks because your feet touched the chin, touched the uh, ground. Yeah, Kidney? that was a good one. Yeah. No. Well, that was back, uh, yeah, we didn't use car seats. Heck no. Your mother's arm coming across your chest was <laughs> the best car seat you could have, right? <laughs> All right, come over here. I'm going to so, this side. Uh, yeah, there's uh, good memories. There's good memories, right? right. Funny. So, yeah. Well, I had a memory come up on my phone this week from when I went back home mm -hmm. to Canada. And I went and I took Riley to the Alexander Graham Bell Museum. And, um, you know, there's old telephones there. See and okay. Riley okay. Uh, went and picked one up. And it was one of the ones that had, like, you know, the alphabet on it, like the yeah. ABC, and it was the rotary dial. And I said to Riley, I said, Riley, what do you think? What do you think that's for? You know, how would you use that? And he had no idea how to like get the rotary to work, but he was like, <laughs> uh, maybe the F yeah. is F Facebook mom. I'm like, no, F is not Facebook, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, we survived. I think we survived better than uh, most of the kids today, or 
else they're just reporting the injuries more, you know. So, <laughs> so yeah, that one. I drank from the water hose. Oh, yeah. Survived. Yeah, and then all the gossiping you had to do, you'd like close the door on the uh, telephone mm -hmm. cord, and you'd have it all stretched out, and your parents would be like, oh, you, yeah. could, you could say it right here. Um, no, no, yeah. I can't, you know. No, I can't say that stuff. What about cassette tapes? So, remember those? Yeah. Do you remember when you had to, like, when something came on, well, several things come to mind, but do you remember, like, trying to record things off the radio? Yeah. And uh, trying to, like, catch it right at the very beginning? Yeah. What's, what was the two buttons you had to hold? Wasn't it record and play or something like that? To yeah, get it to, like... yeah, and then you would get cut off because the tape would end. Yeah, so, so you, you had to have, flip it to the other side. You had to flip it quickly because oh, yeah. you had half the song on one side <laughs> and half the song on the other side. <laughs> so, on was, that... But it was good when you had the uh, automatic deck that would flip over for you. Remember that? Yeah. When it would, like, my car had a little, uh, had the feature that when one side finished, it would flip it over versus you having to take it out. Like, seriously, that was, like, luxury. How come you're not rolling that this one? That was luxury. Because, if you didn't catch me off the top, this is an old um, handmade piece and has lots of, like, holes from nails and screw holes. It's actually a part of an old... I guess uh, this gentleman set up a little tool space for himself, and this was actually onto the wall, secured onto the wall, and um, then he would hang his tools and put his tools in, so it's really beat up, and if you saw it up close, it has lots of nicks and just nail heads, so I'm brushing it on to keep with that rustic look, and also because I can load up my brush a little bit more and really get it into all the scratches and like you see all these all these carve outs and stuff like that you know what i mean it just yeah. kind of like in like the nail head is in right all these dents and dings uh -huh. so rather than rolling over and then having to go and cover in all these dents and dings i'm just choosing to brush it on tonight right. yep bridget osma says uh i just recently got third sun burn in my life second degree burns oh. and, uh sore areas apparently i was taking something that made me photosensitive yeah i have leather seats where was the towel suggestion last night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah my dad had a party uh, line on the phone yeah the one where everybody in the neighborhood and you'd have to listen for the click oh man so, anyways, um what was the other one too um barbara's looking for the old telephone gossip benches you oh see yeah them. You see them quite a bit over yeah there. you can you can find them yeah yeah, yeah. So, you can redo yeah. the seats with some really pretty uh, fabrics, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, a little bit of paint goes a long, long ways. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to start to dry that um, part now. Oh. Bridget said, slamming the phone receiver down was such a wonderful thing. Kids these days it was, right? never understand. And do not disturb was taking the phone off the hook. Yeah. Right, just yeah. leaving it off. Oh, or then if you didn't put it on the right way, by, even by accident when yeah, you try to call like, somebody's mm -hmm, house... Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to be busy, busy, busy. And you're just like, come on. Your phone's not uh, put back on the receiver right. Everybody say hi to mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Hi, mom, dad. Hey, mom and yeah. dad. Everybody yeah. say hi, mom. Hi, dad. From yeah. back home, Canada. Painting an old shelf yeah. tonight. Yeah. Day 27 of the Painted Piece of Furniture Day Challenge. Can you believe this is piece 27? Mm -hmm. We had a few more pieces go home this weekend that we've uh, painted together recently. They all found, found new homes. And it makes me so happy to know that we're finding pieces that, you know, would have been burnt, would have, would have been given away, would have been just like thrown out, tossed out. And now people are finding new appreciation for them. <laughs> Sandra says, remember the first cell phone and big old black eye? Yeah, my dad had one, because he's in construction. I think it cooked his brain. <laughs> How about the crank calls you used to be able to make? Yes, yes. The, the calls. <laughs> so, anyways, what was the other one, too? Um, what was a big deal, too, when we were kids? The cereal, breakfast cereal was a big day, I think. Kids well, these the puzzles days. And stuff in the yeah, boxes, kids yeah. these days will never understand about breakfast cereal. You know? <laughs> so, there was, like, we were talking about Fruity Yummy Mummy. Is it like Ralph, the other Christmas story? Yeah, you drink your drink own tea. Drink your old tea. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we got excited over that because not only were we getting, like, a sugar rush. Right. We were getting a prize inside, right? Right. So. Oh, Anna asked me, Robin Beck asked if you took Sonia to the metal slide at Mammoth Park. Yes. Of course I did. Actually, we took. And I learned about the wax paper, too. Actually, we <laughs> took uh, her parents there as well. Yes. <laughs> 
almost lost your tailbone. <laughs> that one. <laughs> it's like the biggest, one of the biggest slides around. I'm supposed to read the middle slide. Yeah, down the hillside. Yeah, right? it, it's yeah. like the whole, yeah, the whole, the whole side of the hill is a slide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, but, it's pretty fun. But yeah, how great was our childhood? Because not only did we have, you know, all the things that you're not allowed doing now, and all the dangerous toy equipment, but also the uh, we had uh, Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah. Saturday morning cartoons, you know. So smart. Now you can get everything now. Before you had to wait. For yeah, you had to wait for Saturday. Wait, yeah. It was so much better, right? Yeah, we had to be patient. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyway, yeah, so, uh, you know, you had the Snorks and you had the Smurfs. What was your favorite show growing up? Yeah, so. What uh, was your favorite show? No caller ID. Many, many prank calls with our neighbors. Your refrigerator rang. Go catch, go catch it, catch it. right? So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Smurf Berry Crunch was awesome. Yeah, I had the Ghostbuster stuff and it was, I think it was just Captain Crunch without the Captain. So, um, <laughs> you know, Gremlin cereal, too. That was probably the worst stuff ever, you know. It was straight up sugar, too, you know. And uh, we just, our parents would kick us out of the house, uh, you know, from morning till night. Nobody yeah. asked where you went, you know. Well, you could be out till dark, right? Yeah. For me, it was like when the street lights went off. I or came said, on, rather. Irene said, grandkids asked me what I did with it. I told them about kick the can outside at night with the neighborhood kids, and they just looked at me weird. Muppet. Oh, how do you play Kick the Can? Yeah, Muppet Babies. I used to play. Yeah, <laughs> Muppet, Muppet Babies. Babies. Yeah, Mork and Mindy. That was one of my favorite. Those yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. George of the Jungle. Yeah. The Brendan George Fraser George, one. George of the, the Jungle. Bring to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Yes. Yeah, we had about six boxes of cereal. I was a Cookie Crisp guy. I am a Cookie. Ray Dahl says I'm about six four. We have four channels. Well, I grew up in the Laurel Highlands. We had three. <laughs> and then we had 13. And then, uh, <laughs> but luckily enough, um, the all the receiver dishes are on the hill where I live because I live on one of the highest points. So I was able to get HBO with rabbit ears, nice. which was awesome. Da living dangerously. Yeah, yeah. There so you go. Laverne and Shirley, that was a good one. Uh, what'd she drink? Pepsi and milk, right? Is that Laverne? Laverne Cher was a Coke and milk. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You know, I used to really like uh, watching like um, Full House. And uh, oh, do you guys yeah, remember yeah. watching like. Well, that's uh, what Christine Echeverria said. Uh, Christi Topanga. <laughs> I always wanted her hair. Well, you know. Yeah. Oh, what's, what's that one now? Saved by the Bell? That was yeah. a good one, right? Uh, Kristen Echeverria said, Full House, The Golden Girls, and Blossom. You two are like... Blossom! You two I are like uh, twins. Yeah, yeah. So long. Oh, so, what was it Joey used to say? Was it Whoa? I can't whoa! Remember. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> so, the Waltons and Peyton Place. Oh, remember this? What was the one that used to come on? Um, oh my gosh, you got me thinking about shows now. Doogie House. This is Doogie Howser? Yeah. yeah. Remember how he used to type on the computer? Yeah. And I used to watch it and think, oh, and I want a computer so bad because <laughs> he used to be clacky and he'd be, he would be writing on it. And, um, oh, like, Who's the Boss? That was a good one, right? Who watched that one? Love, 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 Who's Ed the Boss? Sullivan. I used to see reruns of Ed Sullivan. Linda Bowery said we sat in the back of my dad's pickup all the time. We'd go to our uncle's house, two and a half hour trips. I used to ride down when my dad yes. lived in Williamsburg, Virginia, like six hours in the back of the truck. Ride. I rode back in the truck and survived. Who yeah, else? Yeah, yeah. Brady I had a Bunch. Truck the back of the truck. Remember uh, Battle of the Network Stars? Buck Rogers. Kim says you sent me a HR Puff and stuff. You know what's funny about that, Tony? You realize that HR Puff and stuff? I don't know what that is. Well, it was like uh, it was like big giant owl, like plush animals, and like, you know, big giant mascot you Okay. H.R. Puffin stuff, for as much as we watched it, it was only on for one season. And that was all reruns. Charlie's Angels, yeah. Banana oh, that was Splits. A good one. Yeah, that was a good Fraggle one. Rock, that oh, was a good one. Fraggle Rock, yes, now you're talking. Yes, oh, that BJ was so and good. the Bear. You know what's funny about BJ and the Bear? I was watching that the other night on uh, YouTube. Me and my dad used to watch I don't it. Think I know that one. Uh, it's about the truck driver with the uh, monkey. It was like no, a take off. It was like the take off of every which way but loose, right? Huh. Um, Nicole says my favorite was My Little Ponies. Oh, my do you know little you know the deal about My Little Ponies now? They're back. Yeah. And they're like popular among boys, and boys who like My Little Ponies are called bronies now. <laughs> this is true. Our son 
son told us this. Yes. Well, I'm just looking at him like, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's a thing. My Little Pony's back. You know what? Everything comes back. Um, Okay, seriously. Right here. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk to my friends, okay? I got to ask you. Who has seen the latest thing that's out? The bodysuits. Who had a bodysuit grown up? You know, one of those, like, one-piece thingamabobs where you used to have to like clip the actual clasp between your legs and when you bent over your shirt didn't come out the back you know it was like a onesie for a little baby yeah like whoever invented that whoever invented that was i don't know but they're back people have you seen that i don't that's something i will never ever support for a second time around never Mm -mm. mickey if you look i saw that actually colors i can take not that if you actually look that up on Roku or YouTube, yeah. you'll be able to find it. I know it's on Amazon Prime. He, uh, Amazon <laughs> Prime. Yeah, here come the brides. So that was on there. Let's so, go over yeah. and uh, put it. Because we're going r- rustic style, and I think somebody would really appreciate this as a rustic style piece. I may not even seal it because <laughs> I like how flat and matte it looks without mm-hmm. any sort of sealer on it. Brushed it on, and um, I just think that it had got some really cool character. But let's go ahead and put a rooster on right here. Tony said there are some bad websites for My Little Pony. I don't know what they want. Oh. They are, and I don't want to know how you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take uh, as much paint off as I can. Mm. And then we're going to go ahead and walk through the finger acrobatic. Brush, 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 yep. brush, 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 brush. Make a little bit of... Easter cold, get a little comb right there. Da, 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 brush, 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 brush. Get his feet. Do the walk. Walk. Brush, brush, brush. Da, 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 So I'm not going to load my brush anymore. I'm just using that little bit of paint that I put on. Barbara Jen says, the bodysuit with the big shoulder blazer. Oh that my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who saw that commercial? She said up. I could rock it back then. Ah, <laughs> the big shoulder pads, right? Like, why? Why? What was that all about? Uh, I don't even know. Linda, you're right. Mighty Mouse is one of my favorites oh, when I was a kid. Oh, look how pretty that is. I'm liking that little rooster guy Grizzly right there. Grizzly Adams, that was one of my love dad's it. favorites. Love it, love it, love it, love so. it. Alright, let's come back over here. Alright, everybody get a chance to share. Matt's gonna announce a winner here in just a few moments. Yeah, let's we take a look wow, at this. Wow, it went quick. You wanna come from it the front? It went quick tonight. It did. We we were, talking. we were talking about our friends. Holy smokes, it's been a half an hour already, I don't even know. We're talking about good times. Who and... wants to go home and watch some uh, some good stuff on Netflix? Um, actually, I want to see a new movie. It's out. You do? What do you want to yeah, see? Yeah, the Death Note movie. I just touched the same thing I just Why'd you touch it? I don't know. Come here. Come here. Uh, I know. No, I'm joking. I just, uh, I was just, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll just leave that right there. All um, right. There we go. All right. Cool, um, right? What do you guys think of it? What do you think, um, right? And then um, we wanted to go like Total um, Farmhouse. Put a little bit of greenery. Is that too short, too tall? Mm. That would be really cute right there. Mm. Maybe the <laughs> books we can put into it. Mm. Do they know what the bodysuit is? Yeah, everybody's talking about it. Yeah, right? Seriously. The rooster, they're trying the to rooster. block it out is what they're trying to Love do. The rooster. Thanks. Lord, now I gotta get Thanks. A, Lord, now I gotta get a rooster stencil. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you guys so. about all kinds of fun stencils all right, uh, me, that I found recently. Yeah. Let me look here. Remember. We have a winner. Okay. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Magic iPad. Yes. Picked. Yes. Tony. Tony. Huseman. Huseman. Allen from the great state of Kentucky. Yay! Tony, are you here? Tony, you got two minutes. Let me stand back and take a Tony, look. Tony, Tony, Tony. What do you think of that? Does that look Tony. good? Cute little stand, right? Remember, Olive ain't looking so Olive anymore. Hip She's huggers. looking all, all <laughs> fine in her uh, new black dress, right? Pretty cool. Did you say hip huggers? Yeah. Like the pants? That's what Irene said, yeah, hip huggers. So. And jelly shoes. Remember all that good stuff? All right, we are done. We are done, we are done, we are done, right? So somebody's gonna come in and really appreciate this. Wouldn't this be really cool in a farm style home? Somebody who loves that sort of style decor. There you go, there you go. Little rooster kind of sets it off as well. So yeah, I'm loving it, I'm in love with it. I'm gonna hit this side real quick. Dry some of this. 
Tony Allen. Tony Allen. Tony Allen. She here. Tony Allen. Does Come on. Tony? Tony Houston Allen. Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, there she is. She said, I'm here, of course. Yay. Message us or email us yes. with the color of your choice. Yep. At junkmonkeypaint at gmail.com. Before we get ready to kick off our next paint challenge, we'll be cluing up this week on the 30th, which is what day is that? I don't even know. I don't even know. Three days from now, right? I don't know. Week 30, yeah. Thank goodness I can count my fingers. Don't know. Um, yeah. And on the night of the 30th, we'll have to do some extra giveaways and we'll announce what we're going to do for our next challenge, okay? So yes. come prepared. Did you guys Stencil have fun tonight? September. That's exactly right. We're going to be talking about stencils on furniture, stencils on home decor, all kinds of fun fun stuff, right? Mirrors, you name it. So we've got a whole fun fun lineup prepared for you guys. So I'm going to log off of here tonight to go home, maybe watch a movie and get some shut-eye. Bridget said, sent y'all a pic message today. This will make more sense when you see it, but Radar the Wonder Dog yeah. is here watching with me. I think he Radar may, the Wonder Dog? He said, she says, Radar. Well, listen. Radar. She says, I think he may have a crush on you. Aw, what? Why, why are you yelling my name? Why are you hey, yelling my name? Hey, he's a good boy. I got he's you, a good boy. Yeah. I'm getting the dog all worked out. So. We love all of our friends, even our furry ones. Yes, absolutely. We, right. we are I'm like a dog maniac. So. Tony, you message us night. with your paint color. You know the deal. So, anyways, uh, we'll see y'all. Thank you so much for being here. Yep. Y'all been great. Y'all been great. Y'all been great. Well, I spent you all, all y'all. Remember, I spent all those years down south, so it I slips know. out every once in a while. It's okay. Actually, when I went to live with you up north, yes, I, I had a southern accent. You did. That you did. Yes. I, I actually lost my Pittsburgh accent, got a southern because accent. Because you went, you were down living like. And now that I'm back, I have like a Mixed. bastardized. <laughs> Southern <laughs> Pittsburgh accent that's the most horrible thing on the face of the planet. So anyway. That's okay. I still understand you. Yeah. Alright. See you guys. <laughs> Alright. See All you right. tomorrow. Alright. Bye. bye.